This is Mark Tobias at BlackBerry headquarters in Waterloo, Canada, with Mike Brown, VP of Security and Research. Uh, Mike, thanks for visiting today. First of all, tell me exactly what you do at BlackBerry. Uh, thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. At BlackBerry, my role is to look after the team that leads product security and research. So we look into understanding what our customers are looking for around security of our products, and then how do we make sure that we're protecting them against the security threats that's um, in the industry. Um, cyber threats and security have permeated everything we do today uh, because the world is so interconnected and there's an increased awareness about privacy, personal information, and a dramatic increase in cyber crime. Um, everyone understands security with regard to their desktop or laptop. But what about your handheld device? Are there the same issues? Well, what's been fascinating has been watching people get used to mobile devices as being a key part of their lives, both personal and work. The security threats that they deal with in mobile are just as much as what they have in the desktop world and even greater because they're dealing with things like location. They're dealing with things like radios that they didn't have to worry about in the PC world. Okay, so smartphones today are so powerful now that in many ways they replace the functionality of laptops. What does this mean for the mobile user? The key shift is user expectation. A mobile user expects to be able to do their work wherever they are. Their workplace is wherever they're currently standing at that moment then. So that means that the computer systems that they're used to dealing with at their office need to be optimized to work for mobile. And that data, which was on that corporate network before, is now on that mobile device. So it needs to be protected against those additional threats. Okay, so BlackBerry invented mobile email about 15 years ago when I started using your first Blackberries that came out in about 98. What's changed since then other than the capabilities of the hardware and obviously the apps and you know everything that goes with it? What fundamentally has changed? So the main difference beyond the last 15 years is the sheer amount of information which are on mobile devices. People have a visceral attachment to their mobile device, so they go everywhere that they go as well too. And that information which is accessible on that mobile device travels with them. So it's not just about email and SMS messages. Now it's corporate information from SAP databases. Now it's finance information. Now it's HR information and all on that mobile device that the person is carrying with them. Okay, so does the consumer, the businessman, the government employee that uses a smartphone, do they really need to be concerned about security? And if so, what? The answer is yes. For that same reason that they have that attachment to devices, they need to remember that these aren't a consumer device that they're carrying with them. This is a device which accesses all that information. You know, the number one concern about mobile devices is still lost devices because they go everywhere you are then. And when you lose your device, that means you're losing work information and personal information. So is there more of a security issue with your mobile device than with your laptop? I would say that the threats are heightened quite a bit more with a mobile device then because the opportunity to have uh, lose that device or to have you know downloading applications which potentially may be malware, they're enhanced because of how I use a mobile device then. And frankly, it has more capabilities in many ways than your laptop. Absolutely, and you're using that mobile device all day long. Mm -hmm. And it's tracking you and gathering data all day long. Um, so BlackBerry is trying to reinvent itself for business, government, with a particular emphasis of what you've always done best with, which is security. In this regard, where are you at? Everybody wants to know the distinguishing features with BlackBerry versus Android, iOS, all the other operating systems out there, but those are the main ones. BlackBerry wants to distinguish themselves. How are you going to do that? So our focus as a company is completely on how do we meet the needs of enterprise and government customers. The thing about security is that the reason we put it in our products is that it enables all of these great things. I can access information from my mobile device because I can trust the platform that's there. And BlackBerry takes that extremely seriously to make sure that both the enterprise management solution you use and the device that you hold in your hand will protect your data so that it can be a platform to do great things. Okay, so, but my, how does it protect my data? I mean, okay, yep. I'm doing SMS, I'm doing email. <clears throat> I'm doing internet browsing. Uh, those are the primary functions. Mm -hmm. How is it protecting my data, making me more secure? Sure. As an end user, we offer you features, of course, like um, using passwords on your devices, encrypting all the data stored on your device, or functionality like BlackBerry Protect. So if you lose your device, 
you can find it, locate it, wipe your device if you need to. As an enterprise, you have that full control again to make sure that any corporate data is stored encrypted on the device then, stored and based off of how it flows from the device to the server, that's protected as well. Again, enterprises have unique needs that they need depending on the industry they're in around things like logging, things like meeting uh, different privacy legislations. BlackBerry through BEZ and through the devices allows those uh, environments to be met. Are there critical distinguishing features that BlackBerry has introduced with OS X versus Android, iOS, Microsoft? Is there real distinguishing issues or is everybody really doing the same thing? No, I think there's a lot of differences there. So one of the key ones that a user sees is how we deal with bring your own device. The trend that we've seen across the world, mostly in North America to start with, has been wanting to have personal work information on one device. The thing that holds people back from it in a traditional container is, I have two calendars. I have small children. I need to be able to figure out when I need to be at work and when I need to leave work so that I can get to swimming practice or a haircut tonight for one of my children. By having a single calendar, which is something that BlackBerry Balance offers within BlackBerry 10, I get that single view of my life, but IT has complete control over their information and I have control over my personal information. How, when I use my Z30, which I've been using for a few months now, and um, Candidly, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. What's, what am I going to notice the difference, okay, between my iPhone and my Z30 BlackBerry as far as my personal security? It comes down to control and transparency. When you're using your Z30, um, as a Canadian, I, when I download an application from BlackBerry World, I know what that application is going to access. I have control over the types of services that it can access on the device then. I know when I download an application through BlackBerry World that we're scanning it through a partnership with Trend Micro as well. As a user of a Z30 and a consumer, I can make sure I have those uh, my passwords so I have those types of controls over what's there. The thing about security though is it's just as much about the technology as it is about the processes and the policies that are followed behind the scenes. Our customers, who are many of them are consumers who work in a large environment, or our enterprise and government customers expect that we've been going through and doing things like secure development life cycles to create our products so that they meet with their needs there. And those are the intangibles that you may not see when you hold that device in your hand. So for your target market, what should IT security managers look for? In other words, what I would call, what are the security metrics for a handheld device that will drive them to choose BlackBerry, choose Apple, choose Android, whatever. So for IT administrators and environments today, the reality is that they're going to have devices from many different um, mobile vendors that they have there. So the security metrics that they need to be worried about are, how do I manage those devices using a consistent interface? How do I make sure that I can control what types of applications will be on those devices and what type of information they have access there? If I have particular legislation I need to worry about, let's say I work in finance, for example, how am I meeting SOX requirements um, within my deployment that I have there? And then finally, thinking about how do I make sure that I can provide that consistent user experience on the device itself? Whether I'm a user using a BlackBerry device or an iOS device or an Android device, I want to use something like, say, Secure Workspace so I can have a consistent way to interact with corporate information no matter what um, OS platform I'm using. Give me real world examples where I'm vulnerable. Sure. Um, as a consumer, yeah. you need to be thinking about I'm accessing websites from my device. Maybe I have cookies on those devices which are storing uh, you know, sensitive information right. from a banking site I went to there. You need to be make sure that the device you have has passwords on it, no matter what manufacturer makes the device, a password there to protect access to it, and passwords so that if someone say tries to plug in a USB cable to it, that it prevents access to it there. That way I can wipe my device if I need to, to remove that information. As an enterprise, I need to be worried about, again, sensitive information flowing to my device over the air. I need to make sure that the protections on that data as it gets to my device are going to meet the needs of me and whatever industry I might be living in there as well, too. Everybody lives on email. Do we really have to worry about our email being intercepted en route? So the thing about email, which is always a fascinating topic, is that the route it takes when it gets to a device can go through many different systems, whether it be your corporate email system, going to another corporation's uh, email system as well, it goes over a lot of areas. For some of our customers who are extremely interested in how they protect their email, they'll use things like, say, S-Mine, 
for example, or PGP as well to mm -hmm. add additional security on email because that's what they need to make sure that their sense information is protected. What about, I just interviewed Phil Zimmerman with PGP yep. uh, a couple months ago at the Cybercrime Conference about secure phones. Mm -hmm. Is BlackBerry doing anything with regard to encryption of audio? Uh, absolutely. So if you look at the device that Chancellor Merkel uses in Germany, it's a BlackBerry Q10. And he uses the SecuSmart solution on top of it to offer an encrypted phone call experience for her. What we see with a number of our users is that they, if they're concerned about the security of phone calls that they make, then they're typically going to gravitate towards a secure voice solution. It's something that we think is very important for us. So did Mrs. Merkel have a phone that the NSA listened to or not? <laughs> Well, I can't comment anything like that, but what I can say is that uh, Chancellor Merkel uh, trusts BlackBerry to use for all of her conversations from her devices. Well, so does our president. Yep, that's right. Um, okay, so BlackBerry still serves a lot of government agencies around the world, um, but I'm running Android <clears throat> apps on my BlackBerry. Doesn't that degrade the security of my device because of some of the insecurity of Android apps? Not at all. The way we designed the Android runtime to run on BlackBerry is that one, it runs in its own separate sandbox on the device. It does not have access to other information or especially work information that may be on your device. And secondly, when you download an Android application from BlackBerry World to your device, that's scanned for malware by our relationship with Trend Micro at the actual storefront level. It is. Yep. So we're not just running open Android non-vetted apps. Correct. And when are we going to be able to run all the Android apps? Well, so I think what you've seen actually is last week we announced a partnership with the uh, with Amazon right. around having access to the Amazon storefront on BlackBerry devices. What that means is, in addition to the 130,000 applications that are there in BlackBerry World today, our users will get access to the additional 240,000 applications that Amazon already offers. Yeah, I mean, all these hundreds of thousands to me are somewhat meaningless because I mean, I run a hundred apps on my device for travel, for reservations, for mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know how many people run more than that, but these are work apps. These aren't games. Mm -hmm. These aren't, you know. So everybody's advertising we have a million apps, we have 750,000 apps. What does this really mean? Well, what's interesting about the mobile world is as soon as you have a device that can do anything, you expect it to do exactly what you want. For BlackBerry, our focus is on serving the needs of our enterprise and government customers. The partnership with Amazon allows our end, end users to get access to all those great consumer applications, things like Netflix, um, things like Pinterest, for example. For us as a company then, that means with BlackBerry World, uh, we focus on developing those enterprise-specific applications that you need to get your job done. Would you consider security as the most important attributes of a smartphone or should it, and should it be the first consideration, even more so than the million apps, cameras, pens, voice recognition, GPS, all of the add-ons, okay, although navigation is pretty primary now. Right. Is security the most important criteria, or should it be for everybody, or just enterprise and government, business, who really, should, who really should pay attention the most to security issues? Well, everyone should be worried about security because security, as I said before, is an enabler to allow you to do all those great things on your device. If I'm navigating from my device and I want to make sure that my address book is protected on the device I have. The needs that a consumer has may be slightly different than the needs that a government or enterprise have, but typically an enterprise and government is still building off that same foundation of security so they can manage those devices and ensure that if government data is going to a mobile device, that they can trust it. With all the competition in the marketplace now, can you, is there really a security niche that BlackBerry used to have? Can you establish that as the critical sales point for BlackBerry? Well, I think we already see that today. BlackBerry's niche is very much about productivity and security. If you look at where BlackBerry is used the most, it's government enterprise customers because they have a job to do. They need to get work done and they rely on a platform with security and with manageability around it to get there. If you look at BlackBerry's planning, we're aggressively focused on ensuring that we have all of those needs, whether it be around devices with enterprise features geared for those users, whether they be around an, an industry leading enterprise mobility management solution to manage any device that our customers have. In terms of security of your handset, OS and infrastructure, here's the bottom line question. <clears throat> 
you probably ask yourself every day, why should my readers, all the enterprise, government, everybody, why should they either stay with BlackBerry, adopt BlackBerry if they're using Android or iPhone, or come back to BlackBerry? Is security really going to be the driving force in all this, in, the, in those decision-making processes? Well, ultimately, it's going to be, can the mobile device let that end user live their life or get their job done? That'll be the defining characteristic of why they choose the device. With BlackBerry, our focus on security allows us to build a platform to enable those users, to allow them to be productive and to be secure so that they can access their information, whether their personal life or in their work life, in a way that they can trust. Okay, final question. The United States Supreme Court yesterday ruled that you have to have a warrant now if you're law enforcement to extract the data out of devices. It's no longer a free game to take whatever you want. Where's BlackBerry as far as the security of the data stored in your device and how difficult it is to get it out? Uh, emails, SMS, MMS, uh, and web browsing and navigation history. Where are you, what does the consumer need to understand as far as access or no access? So the focus on BlackBerry over the last 15 years there has been on how can we meet the needs of the most security conscious customers around the world. Everyone uses the same BlackBerry, whether you're an individual or you're a large organization, that they have the same security protections in them. And so if you look at our focus over those years, things like 45 security certifications around the world, our goal has been design products that don't have back doors and have security controls that the largest customers can trust and that consumers can take advantage of. So what haven't I asked you? What have I missed? I, I think the big thing I, I hope everyone understands out of this is that BlackBerry is 100% focused on making sure that the needs of government enterprise customers are met. Security is that enabler. Security allows commerce to happen around the world because it enables trust. That's why it's so important for us to focus on as a company, and BlackBerry can do that better than anyone else. Mike, I really want to thank you for the time today. And um, as I said, I've been using your Z30 for uh, several months now. And uh, there are some really, po I was surprised, there are some positive uh, aspects to it that are, frankly are not available in other devices. And um, and I like the two-day battery. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate us, that. Us that travel overseas, it's important. I, absolutely, yeah. And uh, But I, I thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be up here. Well, thank you very much for making the trip. It was wonderful to speak with you yep. today. Thank you.